Welcome to Baking with Broadways Away. And what's today's delicacy, Pip? Ice cream bread. I'm just going to get this, the amount of ice, ice cream, cream bread. bread. The... Pip is making a mess. Well, it's because this is melting. This is, this is why I'm sort of doing this quite quick. And then I'll explain myself. The Madagascan vanilla. Would you like another spoon? No, it's a finger. I'll leave you there. Oh, I need 300 grams, which is basically going to be this entire punt. No, oh, I think it is this entire punt, actually. Nothing for pudding today, then. Boo! Boo! We thought there was going to be some left over, didn't we? Yeah, that spoon's going straight in your mush in a second, isn't it? Oh, it's just over. Tough. It'll do. Right. Cut. Hello, and welcome to Baking with the Broadways again. Right, so I'm back with my favourite book. Ingredient baking. It's all I can cope with. And today we're doing ice cream bread. What you need? Quality vanilla ice cream, self-raising flour, and two tablespoons of multicoloured sprinkles. Hundreds oh. and thousands if you're English. Yes. None of this sprinkles nonsense. Right, so we've got our ice cream now. This has to be in a heat proof bowl, blast it until it's melted. I could just leave it today because it is really quite warm, isn't it? <laughs> Splat. Clunk. I'm just going to leave that there melting while I measure out the flour. Mm. We shall come back to that. So Pip's measuring out the flour with hay fever. Oh, it's been all right actually, my hay fever. It's not been as bad as it normally is. How much? 225. Oh, that's 231. That'll do. That's fine. A few Six extra grams. grams. Over. Oh, that's that packet done. Yay. Something out of the house. Oh, we found some flour because flour became pretty. Yeah. It's like contraband during um, that lockdown, in. hasn't it? Marks and Spencer's. Yes. But Good old that's MS. a new one that I don't need to crack open then. Right. So. Can I just take this and eat it? No. Oh. So we are. Electric whisking until it's fluffy, and then we're sifting in the flour, and right. then we're just mixing in the sprinkles. Put it in the oven. Done. Literally it. If it's whisking, it's got to be noisy. <laughs> got to make the ice cream nice and fluffy. Fluffy. Apparently. You need to get some air into it. Yeah. So we we'll come back when that's done because this is really noisy. Bubbly mixture. Yeah, it's not as fluffy as we thought it was going to no. be, is it? But now it says a batter, so. Hopefully, once this. Let me hang on to that. In. Yes, please. <laughs> I need three hands. Right. Sifting and mixing, sifting and mixing. Got to get that in there quick. It says so you don't lose the air. Right, let's sift all of that then. It said stir briskly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is a broad ways away first. This is some... Um, right, some more flour. Could be a disaster, darling. I tried the beer bread when we were in isolation, which tasted, I don't know, a bit weird. But um, I could try that one again. That was much easier than this. We didn't have to fanny around fluffing anything. No. Did you even taste the beer bread? Because you were poorly during that when I made that. Can't remember. I can't remember either. I think I had a bit. It's all sticky in there because you put it in the ice cream bowl. It was a bit too much anyway, wasn't it? Yes. Let me sit. That should sit on there. I don't think it's going to. Let's get it all up my nails. Why not? I do. That'll do. Right. Last little bit, trying to get the air in. That's it. 
bin off the rest. That'll do. Gets the. Uh... Thank you very much. I'm not going to um, measure out the hundreds and thousands. I'm just going to. Oh, okay. It's making sort of a dough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's called ice cream bread. I think it's going to come out as a kind of cake texture, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. So we'll just have to see. <laughs> right, do you think that's the best I'm going to get? Batter-wise? I think so. Right. right, let's just crack some hundreds and thousands. Get the hundreds and thousands in. No, it's not cracked. It said don't let it be hot. That do. I think this is just purely to give it a bit of... Texture. It's pizzazz, isn't it? Yeah, I think. So. There we go, right. It's nice and firm. <laughs> That's for sure. What is it? Look at the dough, it's a tight dough. <laughs> yes. Right. So that's that. I wonder if we're going to end up thinking we should have just eaten the ice cream. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Into the lined tin. This jump is so heavy for my little wrist. Trying to splosh it out. Okay, how long have right. I put it in the oven for? I haven't even looked. Half an hour. Half an hour, okay. And it is currently quarter past three. So, quarter to four. Well, it said don't let the batter get hot. That, but just, that just looks weird. Well, <laughs> ta -da, ta -da. I don't know whether that's a questionable ta -da. Right. In the middle, I guess. Don't no. put it in the top. I don't want the... Well, we had greaseproof paper catch a light, didn't we, at one point? Yeah, I do. Oh, well, there we go. I'm going to take that off so I can see what's going on. Well, half an hour, we'll see. And half an hour later. That's nice. Oh, there we go. One loaf of bread. But I'm hoping. Filming your bottom then. So I like disabled. I've been upstairs doing some choreography. Hopefully this is. Yeah. Oh, looks good. Fabulous. Okay. Well, the book says you're supposed to enjoy it sliced with a bit of uh, butter. butter. Hmm. So that's got to cool for a little bit. Then I'll turn it out of the tin, and then we'll see yeah. how we go. Okay. It's come out better than I thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> out time. Well, lift out time. Yeah. I have washed my hands. Wow, it looks amazing. Ta da! I am pleasantly surprised so far until we eat some. Mm. We okay. shall give you the verdict. Maybe we'll try a little bit after dinner. Yeah. Cool, ice cream bread. Mm. Anybody wants a recipe, shout and I'll put a screenshot. Here we are in the kitchen with our ice cream bread. So you see, it's sort of got a cakey bread consistency. Yeah. Definitely make sure you've got plenty of air in it. And you've got... And we've got fine butter posh made butter. with sea salt crystals. It's not well posh, isn't it? And today's been a horrendously hot day, hasn't it? Just posh like you and me. You get me? But we're from Sussex. We're you pushing get, up, thank you very much. You get me, bruv. Ooh, butter. I don't know how thick you want your butter smells. Just about ready to spread. <laughs> this is what the recipe book suggested to do. Butter it. Was to have it with some butter. And we're back. We're going to taste the buttered cake bread. Um, am I going first? No, ice cream bread. Ice cream bread. Come on okay. now. And the verdict is... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's rude to talk with your mouth full. Um, definitely better with butter. Yes. We had a couple of pieces last night. Sort of naked. Yes. Work. It definitely needed something. If anyone's eating American bread, it tasted like American mm. bread, slightly sweet um, corn syrup. We would say 
that was the recipe as is with vanilla ice cream. Yeah. I'll potentially do it again, but maybe with a strawberry ice cream or a chocolate ice cream. And chocolate chips. And chocolate chips, because it said you can substitute. We put the hundreds and thousands in, but I think chocolate chips would be yeah. really nice. So I think it's a recipe we can adapt. Right. My Not turn. Mind. Take two, because yet again, Pete didn't press record. Why are you talking like that? Don't, don't start a pepper rant. Please don't. Not with the day I had in the office. Right. right. Pete's turn to try it. I've already had a bite. Yes, because we already tried this one. Okay, let's try another bite. Oh. And another small, same reaction as before. <laughs> small, delicate bite. Really? Tom, tom, mm. tom, 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 tom. Yeah, salty butter. Definitely better. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think, should we do um chocolate chip bread next time? Yeah, I think so. Chocolate yeah. chips. Mm. Um, chocolate ice cream. Yeah. 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 It's very good though. It's so if you want to try it. It's a, so easy, isn't it? It's such yeah. an easy recipe. Just chuck it all in a bowl and chuck it in the oven, really. So. Yeah, shout us a comment yes. and we'll uh, give you the recipes. Yep, yeah, uh, comment below. Hello, everybody. If anyone remembers our Vlogmas from, well, December, you might remember my dad! Hi folks. Terry's back. It's um random history facts corner with Terry. So today, Dad, what you got? Well, today um, we're going back to the World War Two, and uh, when we were getting short of food, we had to get all the uh, ladies to join the Women's Land Army oh, yes. to help produce food. And this was the armband they were all given to wear. Um, each of these little diamonds on it means they've done six months service. So this one obviously means eighteen months service wow. has been completed. And um, along with that, they had this, oh, close up. which was the cap badge for them. Oh, and this went on from 1939 to 1949, believe it or not. So quite a while after the war then? It certainly was. But it didn't start in World War Two. When we were very short of food in World War One, in 1917, the British... Um, let me just... <laughs> cut, yeah. cut, 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 cut. <laughs> this is going in the outtake. Right, so we started off in the First World War in 1917 when uh, the whole country was getting very short of food and this was the original World War I armband, the oh, cool. Women's Land Army. We don't know who that belonged but, to though, do we? No, 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 no. I don't think there's a name inside. No, but um, it wasn't actually called the Women's Land Army to start with, it was the British Board of Agricultural Workers to start with. Oh. But um, this, it was only in operation from 1917 to 1919 when it was disbanded, when all the uh, men came back from France. Oh. So um, this was the direct forerunner and why it was raised so quickly in 1939, because there'd been a sort of a dry run in the First World War. Oh. So this... Oh, we've got another pin. It's the First World War cap badge. So... Um, it's one of those interesting facts that yeah. nobody ever thinks about. Fabulous. Thank you very much, Dad. Obviously, food production was extremely important. Well, yes. <laughs> Unlike the uh, supermarket fights that we saw during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. so if anybody would like some more random history facts in our home vlogs, I'm sure I can get Dad to find some more random, odd historical facts that you don't get taught at school. We just had fun trying to sort him out an Apple ID. You wouldn't believe the oh, trouble we different. just had trying to get an Apple um, ID set up for Dad, a new one. It was ridiculous, but we did it. We're fine. Hello, Mrs B. Back from work. What have you got? Magic mail! I am now on a spending lockdown because today was payday and I have put myself on a self-imposed ban for a month until the yeah, next payday. Yeah, now I'm going to try yeah. really hard. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, I am. <laughs> This should be from the Bibbidi Bobbidi Candel. I'm not going to film Pippa opening it because um, it literally makes my toes curl. Whatever. Mm. Right. There we go. I have yeah. to montage that bit. Really? <laughs> Now this should be oh, right. oh, ah, right. 
So further to the Hufflepuff candle, I decided to get Slytherin. What does that smell of? Old snakes. It's meant to smell all sort of mysterious and herby. Because when I... Um, For our American viewers, herby. Herby. When I had issues with um, Pottermore.com or thewizardingworld.com, whatever it is now, it sorted me into Slytherin once. So not Slytherin. So Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. But will it? Well, I'm having a hay fever day, so... <sighs> Don't dribble in it. Oh yeah, that's really herby. I like that. It's really different. Uh, it probably smells of washing powder. Oh, it does not smell of washing powder. I can imagine that in the Gothic dungeon, which is the Slytherin common room. Well, it probably smells of green. You're going to say it smells <laughs> of Gothic washing powder. And they say magic spellings. So. Smells of green. Oh, and it's um the little crystals and stuff. And it's broomsticks and wizards hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's Actually, I can smell that from here. Oh, dearie me, with the... Yeah. Oh! Jasmine always puts in some Haribo or some sweeties of some sort with your order. And a packet of matches. And the other and one I've is... ordered a reed diffuser. Oh. So, um, and this is the Typhoon Lagoon scent. Because it's probably my favourite candle of hers, and it's all coconutty and suntan lotiony, and just smells of holidays. It smells amazing. So yeah, I'll, I'll go so far to say it's my favourite one. Does it smell of Jumbo House? Why would or, Typhoon Lagoon smell of Jumbo House? Because I like the smell of Jumbo. Well, well, no, we've got Kidani Hattie. Village. We've got that candle right there, poised to burn tonight, my love. Mm. Um, so yeah, I can't really open this one because. Then I'll have to stick the uh, stick the sticks in it, and she does send you read reads with it. So. Okay. If I can get the wretched thing out of the packet, it's sellotaped. She packages things very well. That's why you got scissors. Oh yeah. And I opted for her turquoise um, container this time instead of a glass one. Okay. I thought that was pretty. I might ask her actually if she can do refills. Because oh, yeah. otherwise I'm going to end up with idea. a ton of these. So maybe she can send a little. Vile out. So. A vial? Who yeah. says vile? Vile, I do. Oh, okay. um, but that is probably my last bibbidi bobbidi order for a while because I have said to Jasmine, I'm stocked <laughs> for quite a few weeks now. Because since lockdown, I've always liked a candle, haven't I? Mm -hmm. But now, just want to make the house smell nice because we're in it all the time. You never go out. Let's have another look at it. Oh, there we go. Very nice. I think she does a range now. You can have the clear glass. A turquoise, a pink, maybe a black one. Can't remember. But yeah, she's on Etsy. Bibbidi bobbidi candle. Hey. And someone's got magic mail. I didn't order Lego. Sure oh. you didn't. I did. I hadn't even opened it. Look, yeah, straps are still on. Dear. Um. These home vlogs are literally becoming you and I just opening magic mail. What do you mean you and I? Excuse me, you're you, doing one you then. with me occasionally. Really? Mm. Dun, dun, See, dun, that's, dun. That's a magic parcel, it floats, look. Really? Mm. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it. Hang on, it's slow. Just the paperwork. So in here okay. we've got some special envelope of cards. Oh, oh. it's sealed. Was that so a freebie? I don't know what's in there, yeah. Oh. So these are limited edition oh, cards. Oh, Sorry. I can't see. Waving it about. For the 40th anniversary, isn't it, of yes. Empire Strikes Back? Let's get rid of that. And in here... Is something else that we don't know where it's going to go when it's built. I'll open the cards in a minute. In here. La la. Is, is that upside down? Yes. yes. Is the UCS Alien Starfighter. Awesome. So I built the little one, which is in the cupboard, which is green. And this is a red, as you can see. So how big is that going to be when it's built? I reckon it'll be somewhere close to the uh, snow street. The white one in there. Okay. You see that? Yes. Yes. Lovely. Oh, got a fly in there. 
That's a real treat for myself, that one. Yay. I've heard it's a really good deal. Awesome sauce. I'm opening my cards. The cards. It's like Monopoly. I'm going to get a do not pass go card. Yes. So, there's a film one. Okay, yep. Retro. Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. And there was one that was either Boba Fett or a TIE fighter pilot, and I got the TIE pilot. Oh, boo. But it's fine. Okay. Happy with that. And these are special limited editions. So you can't buy those? No. Awesome. You can only get them off, well, you probably get them on eBay now. So in theory, you could frame them? Yeah. Okay. They're like little postcards, aren't cool they? Cool beans. Yay. Excellent. Oh, and I've got a TIE fighter... Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. TIE... Tie fighter pilot helmet that's on back order so that'll be coming a week after next so another yeah. unboxing then so many unboxings got more magic mail oh no oh. Oh. and i'm in my dressing gown just before anybody asks it's um what is it today thursday the 25th halfway to June. christmas just finished work i'm about to do a workout hence why i've done mine i'm a good boy well you got home earlier than me is Disney World again? Obviously ordered before my spending lockdown started. Ooh. Six months to Christmas. Uh, yes. Welcome, foolish, foolish mortals. mortals. Lovely, nice colour green. Yes. Oh, that's a nice green. I, I was expecting like quite a bright jade green. Oh, I quite like that. It's like a British racing green, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. La, la, la. That's rather cool, and I have match. I have got some haunted mansion ears, haven't I? Yeah. That can go with that, and it all started with a mouse. That's very nice. And yeah. that these are the colour. You can mix and match the colours. I think I've said before, and I thought pink, pale pink on navy with navy might sort of stand out quite well. Yeah. Pleased with that. So yeah, I've gone for a size slightly bigger. I'd normally be an extra small, but I've gone for a small, so it's okay. a bit baggier in the Florida heat. Hold it up again. Oh, all right. It's very nice. Yay! I like the royal blue on the pink. Well, this is technically navy, apparently. Mm. But yeah, thank you, Diz Tea World. More magic mail. Although I am on my spending lockdown, this was ordered before I went on my spending lockdown. I would just <laughs> like to disclaim yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush you. So all Natasha's things is ever after, of course. Been a while, so you know. Yeah. 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 They, everything comes in a dust bag with her. They're so handy for when you're going to parks. But I've got a Donald Scrunchie. He matches my ears. Love that material. Ears like that. So. Yay, Donald Scrunchy, super. And the magic is, oh, hang on, I've got my two things in here, get caught up, come back to that. I've got the rain, new rainbow ears that she's got. They are super. Two of the Fab Five there. But uh, the main reason I wanted these were <laughs> Pluto! <laughs> and I'm, I love a rainbow. Not necessarily for any political reason, but I do love a rainbow. But I thought, there's so many colours in these, they'll just go with everything. Yeah, won't they? Good. I could just take one pair of ears on a trip. <laughs> That's never going to happen, though. And then I went a bit left field. I've got a top knot headband. Mm. I've never had one before, and I don't know if they're going to suit me. So when my hair's drying down, I'll, um, I'll demo I'll take it. take a pick, yeah. Yeah, I've got a sparkly one, because then it's non-Disney, I could wear it any old hell. But I thought that was just a bit different. So what Daisy has? Potentially, she does. I've never really thought about. Um, she does ones with big bows on, but yeah. I just wanted one with the little top knot, so it wasn't quite crazy. So, yeah, I like that bit of rose gold. That tends to go with everything. So, that's pair number forty-five. Christ, I've got some magic mail because I broke my spending lockdown. Uh huh. Sucker. <laughs> too much good stuff out there. That's it the trouble. Far too much good stuff. This is Etsy, good old Etsy, um, from Casey's Circus. And yeah, I got stuck it in. Oh. Okay. And like the circus tent at uh, Magic Kingdom. 
Yes, it's a bracelet. Oh, hello. And some <laughs> sticker. Oh, that's super. It's going yeah. a bit. It's a little glass bead bracelet themed on the tiki room. And it's got a tiki bird. Oh, yeah. And my logic for this is... I have Pandora bracelets, but I don't wear them in the park. I can't really wear much of my jewellery in the park because obviously I'm pale. I have to cover up in sunscreen and I don't really want to get sunscreen and the chemicals in them all over precious metals. So I thought I can a glass bead bracelet. I can clean that easy peasy if it gets sweaty and sun creamy. So this, this could be another rabbit hole to go down. Whoops. So thank you, Casey. You'll leave a link in there. Oh, I will. Know. I'll leave a link in the description. For, oh, and it says, Dear Pippa, thank you so much for your order. I hope you like your bracelet, Kelly and Casey. I know Kelly is the lady that makes the bracelets and Casey's her little boy. We're in Primark again. It's Sunday. Look, there's a dog shirt. This is new. How much is this one? Eight. That's Very cute. cute. Is there anything on the back? No. no. That's Diddy, I like that. <laughs> and a Mr. Potato Head. It's a cropped one. Oh yeah, it's short. Seven. I'm not a fan of cropped. I've seen that one before though. No, that's a newbie. Still the same. They can't shift them, I don't think. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Black in the Florida heat though, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want black, do you? Oh, not if you can help it. Would you like me to get one from the back? Yes. Hello, Mr. Agent. What's he got on his mouth oh. there? Oh, he's got a little chip. I know, oh, no, it's a bit of fluff or something. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it depends really where you want the strategically placed. Oh, he'll do. It's slightly off centre. All right, grab another one then. See more off centre? Yeah, it looks like it. Where yes. is that one then? This is to join the alien plant pot with the tomato plants in it. Yes. Isn't it? To keep them company. They've got these picture holders and they've got Doug. Sally and Mike. Bit of an odd mix. But... And uh, Stitch. I don't know what the girl's called. You have to enlighten me. Stitch throw. Very nice. And a jungle book one. It's very pretty. And the bottle. To go with the Toy Story one. Lots of Frozen merch in here. Sheets, cushions, throws, and sequined pillows. Very strange. And some poo stuff down the bottom. And an Olaf. Minnie Mouse towels. Like a mermaid mini towel. Frozen towels. Toy Story. Loads of Potter stuff. Still got all this stuff I need to get rid of. Hogwarts throw is quite nice. Hello everyone. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago I got a couple of these as a Father's Day present from my son Rob to put my minifigures in. My Lego minifigures. As you've probably seen in previous vlogs I've got lots of them upstairs. So I've got a couple of Perspex cases now to put them in. And um, keep the dust off them, that sort of stuff. So I'll show you how they're built. Let's get in there. We can. Get in there. Should be quite simple. I hope it's simple. Who knows? That's it. I think the instructions are on the back of the box. So first thing to do, you have to put the bases together. So obviously that's the bottom. So 
this is, isn't Lego, obviously. So it goes on top like that. That's in. And this one goes on top there. So there you go, there's the steps. Now, how do you get in there? Hopefully this will be uh, fairly straightforward. One side, two sides. Everything's indi individually packed, which is good. That's another side, I guess. That's obviously the top. There you go, there's another side. Weave the fingers all over them. There you go. One Lego case. So once I put some mini figs in, I'll uh, show you uh, how it goes. So I'll build the other one, I won't show you me building that, you won't see that do you? And uh, I'll put some minifigs in. Hello, welcome back. So, after much deliberations and changing the characters uh, about three or four times, I'm finally happy with my uh, minifigures in their new box. So I'll show you. So here they are. So I went with the dark side first. Sorry about the reflection, but you can probably see some of your favourite characters in there. Troopers down the front. Phasma's there. Emperor. Snoke. Maul. Vader. Various others. Kylo's there. Shore Trooper, Death Troopers, General Hux. So they're going to live up here on the shelf, just there. So there they go. Sorry about the reflection, but that's the nature of the beast. So they're all going to be dust free sitting in there now. So I'm really pleased with that. And that is a really good Father's Day present from Robbie. Cheers, Rob. Now I've got to do the light side. Look at all these fellas. I've got a more magic mail yet again. The home vlog is turning into me opening things. <laughs> In my defence, this was ordered before lockdown. So yes, fresh out the shower. We've both been very good this morning, haven't we? Yeah, it's we... Saturday the 4th of July. Happy, Happy it. American Independence Day! To all our American friends, um, I've recorded my last bit of online clips for the Nazi school. Um, mm -hmm. So that's all done for the summer term and Pete's done the cross trainer. Yes. Today, so yeah, we're polishing our halos. I wonder what these could be. Don't know what you mean. Oh look, it's for me as if we're after. Honestly, know why Natasha puts in a card for me here. <laughs> but yes, as I've said before, if you haven't seen it, you do get a dust bag with all her ears, which is really handy for transportation. And transportation. I don't know what I ordered because I've looked at these ears for a little while, and Pete went, "Oh, just get them." It's snacks. snacks. Disney snacks. So you can. See almost Toffee all of... apple, ice cream there. Macaron. On the back, Lots. there's even more. All that... Starbucks and a yeah. Donald cupcake. And... Lovely. Awesome. Um, she does a Halloween version of these as well, but we don't tend to go over Halloween. It's not really our favourite time of year, but I am hoping she's going to do a Christmas version. Mm. And yeah, you can customise it with any bow you like. So, oh, Natasha, you've done it again.
Awesome. Is pair number 646. 646? Yes. Oh, okay. Feels like it. And I also got, because she's got some Hogwarts house fabric in. Potter staff. Not for ears. I've got a Hufflepuff scrunchie. Let's see. Hang on. Let's try and get that. We take some pictures and insert them in. All right. Okay. Yeah. If you didn't know already, both Pete and I are both Hufflepuffs. And another bag for transportation, so. There you go. Yeah.